Bob Backish is out as head of Paramount Global, the company replacing the CEO with a trio of division chiefs. This news comes as Paramount is in talks with Skydance Media about a possible merger. And joining us right now on all of this is Puck's Matt Bellany. Okay, Matt, what happens? Play it out for us. <laughs> Very big development. Uh, you know, this was a surprise. It developed over the weekend. Bob Backish was uh, dismissed. He technically, he stepped down. And there's a couple scenarios here. I mean, one is that this is just clearing uh, an internal impediment to the Skydance merger, which Sherry Redstone, the controlling shareholder, really does want to make happen. Um, if it doesn't happen, there is a separate potential offer on the table from Apollo, which Backish tended to favor because that one benefited Paramount Global shareholders in general, um, not primarily Sherry Redstone. So there's one scenario where this is all just a placeholder until the merger or a deal can take place. The second is none of these deals work out, and they've got to figure out how to manage this company. Now they have an office of the CEO with two television leaders and one film leader who get along very well, and they believe they can work together, and they say that they're going to put together a plan to run this company. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. Rich Greenfield said, pointed out that the three of us on set together, Joe, Andrew, and I worked yeah, very well together, and yeah, then we were talking yeah. about how insane that would be to have the three of us all trying to... Doing uh, anything important. <laughs> to call the shots on yeah, this Yeah, it, 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 it's... It's one thing for these guys to have a text message chain that they're all on and they communicate all the time. It's quite another to direct the strategy of, uh, even within its diminished state, is a pretty significant entity with lots of different arms and different agendas. Uh, you know, Brian Robbins is relatively new in this role as the head of the film studio. Uh, George Cheeks and Chris McCarthy of our veteran television executives, but they've never been in this, this top role before. Um, you know, it'll be interesting. They did present to the board this, pra this past weekend, and apparently the board liked what they heard, um, but it's going to be really tough. To, uh, we'll see what happens if they can't make any of these sale deals happen. What Greenfield's point, Rich Greenfield's point earlier when he mm -hmm. talked with us is that, look, this is the controlling shareholder, Sherry Redstone. You knew what you were getting in for when you bought into this company, that there was a super voter who was going to be in charge of things. I don't, I don't think that means that the shareholder lawsuits um, will drop away easily. What happens? No, I mean, we do know that the uh, Sherry Redstone camp is pretty confident that if there are shareholder lawsuits, that, that this merger with Skydance would survive them. But clearly, Skydance um, is cognizant of them because it recently upped the offer and added $3 billion to the mix, which it, they hope will both improve the balance sheet and also sweeten the deal for some of these Class B shareholders. We'll see if that's enough to make them feel okay with this. Uh, the special committee at Paramount is evaluating this. And obviously, they've had some issues there, too, where several board members have stepped down from this committee during this process. We don't exactly know why, but that's usually not a positive sign. Uh, Matt, just final, final thought. Your best guess as to whether this deal goes through or something else gets pushed? You know, I still think the Skydance merger happens. Um, you know, David Ellison's father, Larry, is one of the richest men in the world. And I think if his son wants this to happen, he can make it happen. But I do know that the Skydance people are getting frustrated by this process. They don't like the leaks to the media. They think it's become kind of a circus. Um, and, you know, the, the deadline is May 3rd. And if there's no dead, there's no extension here, uh, we can see resolution on this happening or not happening by the end of the week.